Hey everybody, we are on location at Tel Megiddo, the most famous archaeological site in all of Israel. We are at Solomon's Stable. That's the name that's given to it at any rate. And you can see, oh, isn't that nice? There's a horse that's drinking some water. And if you look at this, it's a rather large site for the stables. And we know from ancient sources that this place here, Megiddo, was used for chariot driving, for chariot racing, basically having all kinds of horses. And you could accommodate up to around 150 horses in this area, in this stable. So the question remains, why is Solomon accumulating horses when the Hebrew Bible clearly says that kings are not supposed to accumulate horses lest they forget that their victories come from the Lord? Well, probably because if you look at this location here, you look at the valley, this is the most strategic location in the ancient world, in the Middle East. There's no better location because it controls everything that comes through here. And anyone who's anyone, any people group, the Assyrians, the Egyptians, Mesopotamians, it doesn't matter. The different people groups all throughout here all have to come through this land. So this area, Megiddo, becomes an extremely crucial place. And you have to have control over this. And unfortunately, our friend Solomon, now some scholars think that it's a little generation after Solomon or so, at any rate, it doesn't matter because we see the accumulation of horses in the kingship in Israel, which is a clear violation of the covenant that they've been given. And they're doing this because they're trying to protect themselves in the midst of a very, very, very important location in the ancient world. So when you come to this site, You'll see that it's a really spectacular place and this is as i mentioned solomon's stables and you can imagine the animals the horses drinking water here and then people are coming to work with the horses because the whole point of having horses is that they are for war so they're not just collecting horses as pets right they're collecting horses because they need horses as their weapons they're essentially like guns or tanks in the modern world so they have to have them and that's in fact what they do and it just shows here what we already know is that the commandments come the kings are supposed to be one way acting one way but of course they do so in another way 